Hi everyone, the way put a one more beautiful time. We are in another beautiful session of grade 6 science. And this is going to be your chapter number 2, talking about things around us. And this is video number 5. What are we talking about today? We are going to further understand about the solids. And it's about specific properties of solid matter. Let's go and understand that and come. There are different properties in different solid materials. Therefore, the properties of solid matter should be considered when they are used. Now, you have flow tiles at, in your home, right? And also you have roofing sheets. Can you put the flow tiles on the roof? And can you put the roofing sheet on the floor? No, you can't put it like that. So, you're using wood for the window. You're using wood for the window. Can you use charcoal for the window? You can't use it. So, certain properties of these solid matters are considered when we are using those to different applications. Now, when we are talking about iron sheets, copper sheets, aluminium sheets, iron nails, chalk, a rubber band, cotton wool, clay, wheat or rice flour, some wood pieces, a piece of elastic, sand, powder, charcoal, some pieces of plastic, paper, cardboard, polythene, sandpaper, iron wire, copper wire, a hammer. These are all in front of you. Now what you're going to do, you're going to touch the materials with your hand. When you touch them, you will feel that some materials are smooth and some materials are rough. So write the smooth materials and rough materials separately. That's your first activity. Out of all this in front of you, which is also available in your book, it is in front of you now, you can identify what are the materials smooth and what are the materials rough. Now the second target that they are giving you is beating them. When you are beating the materials with a hammer, write the materials that break into pieces. Take a piece of chalk when you are beating the piece of chalk or charcoal and it will break into pieces and not about the iron or a piece of aluminium. So it don't break into pieces. So write those things separate mainly. The first one we were talking about smooth and rough. The second we are talking about breaking into pieces and not breaking into pieces. Also third activity that they are giving you is stretchable. Now take the rubber band, elastic, wires and papers. Now pull each material to either side with your hands. So from the materials in front of you, the one which we were talking about, you are going to write the materials that can be stretched. Can you stretch an iron wire? Can you stretch an iron nail? No, right? So it comes under which is not stretching. So you would have identified that a solid have their own properties. The following table shows some physical properties of solids with examples. Now let's understand this beautiful table in front of us. We are going to talk about hardness, malleability, ductility, elastic nature, brittleness, texture. Wow! So these are the things that we are going to understand in this section. 
What is hardness? The property of resistance to scratch. The property of resistance to scratch. Abrasion and cutting is known as hardness. Hardness differs depending on materials also. Now, when you're taking diamond, iron, these materials with high hardness, isn't it? So those are hard materials or hard solids. Now the choke and the diamond is in front of you. Which one is harder? You will say diamond, that is right. Diamond, iron and a piece of charcoal is in front of you. Which one is harder out of these three? Diamond, that is right. So hardness is also differ from one material to another material. We understood the hardness. Now the second quality is about malleability. What is that malleability? Have you seen these sheets like in front of you there are there are three types of sheets iron sheet, copper sheet and the aluminium sheet. Those are made by making it flat. So the ability of metal to be drawn into thin sheet without breaking by hammering or rolling is known as malleability. So you got the copper or iron metals. You can turn that copper or iron metal into sheets. So that property is called as malleability. Ductility is the next one. The ability of a metal to be drawn into thin wires. Look at these wires. Okay, so the copper wire is in front of you, aluminium is in front of you, and gold wire is in front of you. These were all metals before, but they turned that into wires for our different usage. So it got ductility property. What property? Ductility property. That's the reason we were able to make those copper, aluminium, gold into wires. Can you make wire out of paper? No, you can't. And can you make wire out of a piece of chalk? You can't. And can you make wire out of a rubber band? I don't think that you can do. But in rubber, there is elastic nature. That's the fourth one we are going to talk about. The property of increasing the length of a material by a force of stretch. You can stretch rubber, you can stretch elastic. Uh -huh. That's the reason they are used in gyms for the stretch, stretching exercises just like this. So, you came to know elastic nature is also not common to all the solid materials. Like, which one is more elasticity out of all these three? Iron nail is in front of you, the paper is in front of you, and the rubber band is in front of you. Which one got elastic nature out of these three? Click it. That is right. It is rubber. The next one is about brittleness. You throw a glass on the surface. What will happen? It will break into pieces. What about the ceramic plate? It'll definitely break into pieces also. What about your throwing a plastic cup on the floor? It will not break into pieces, am I right? Okay. So we are going to talk about that breaking ability. That's called brittleness. A tendency of a material to break under a small force. Those are called brittleness. So the brittleness is more there in glass and solid like coal. So we came to know the brittleness also. Here you go. In front of you, there are three things. A cotton wool, some wood pieces, and glasses. Which one got the more brittleness? Definitely glasses. So you understood the brittleness also. Now finally, the texture. When you're touching certain things, you will feel smooth and something you will feel rough. Take a cotton. It is very smooth, isn't it? 
What about the sandpaper? Oh, it is rough. So feel of surface, rough or smooth is known as texture. So we came to know hardness, malleability, ductility, elastic nature, brittleness and texture under these. Look at this house in front of you which is coming from your book as we discussed before. We cannot use the tiles, roofing tiles on the floor. So can you imagine the amount and type of solid used to build up the house which is in front of you? The properties of materials used differ depending on the shape of each part, strength and the area that should be covered. Also, building materials differs according to the area, location, climate, necessity of the person, space and income, etc. Think about the materials that are used to build doors, roofs, windows, flow, walls and grills of the above house. Think about their physical properties. Now you will understand there are different, different properties that they are in the solid materials and those properties will make us use those properties for another purpose or another purpose. Gold, silver and copper are used to make jewelry. Why? Because of their property of malleability and ductility. Due to these properties, these materials can be made into different shape also because they got malleability and they can be made into small pieces like wires. Teats, which everybody knows that is in front of you, and a glove. Teats and gloves are made of rubber because of their property of elastic nature. Now you came to know the different properties of solid matters with this beautiful lesson and the session. That's all for the total chapter number two things around us. And I'm going to meet you in another beautiful session. The session is going to be water as a natural resource. Until then, bye-bye and take care of yourself.